So this is your third season here. Um, how's the response been this year? Uh, to be honest, so far so good. Um, but you know, I'm always open to feedback. I think it's very important as a designer to listen to what people have to say. You don't always have to agree on their opinion, but I think the exchange of opinions and, and, and feedback and criticism is very important uh, for the product. And are there any particular items that um, people have really taken a liking for of the collection? Oh yes, uh, definitely. In the showrooms here, the crochet pieces were very, very popular and they actually attract a lot of attention. I think it's because of the bright colors, but also the texture. Everyone wants to come and touch it and, and have a closer look and keeps asking, what is it? How do you do that? Especially this sweater over here, you can see, wear it like this. That's how it looks on the other side. I think this was one of the most popular pieces in the showroom. And at the show that we had yesterday, I would say this one was quite popular was photographed a lot and I kept seeing it on Instagram. <laughs> and um, what was your main inspiration for um, this season or do you think it's come about over time? This season is actually about sisters and how they don't like to share because um, I'm one of four girls myself <laughs> so I know how hard it can be. I just wanted to explore this time when you're growing up, when you're like a child and you have uh, this style that your parents kind of give you but you still start to develop your own uh, individu individual like personality and style and, and start to dress uh, in a certain way that you find attractive and the role that your sisters play in it, the younger or the older. So it's, you know, it's about transition time and the relationship with your sisters. So you see it in the prints, for example, over here. I collaborated uh, with a UK-based illustrator, Alexandra Cook, and we developed these prints, which are really colorful and funky and have the childish aspect of everything. You know, you see flowers with little faces on it, but then you also see um, hands. These are showing this kind of like grabbing and taking things away that don't belong to you. And then it says mine, not yours. I think you see it quite nicely on this one. Yeah, and then we have that on cotton and also on organza, as organza print as well. And everything you see, all, all the fabrics, we always develop ourselves, the prints and the textures. Yeah. And we produce everything in the UK. And um, is it is the collection available to buy now and where from? It is. Yes. Um, this time we tried something really new. Yesterday we had our show in the morning. And then, oh no, not yesterday, it was on Saturday. <laughs> and then straight afterwards, three hours later, we had an event at Brown's Hotel. And you could buy everything straight from the show in a full size range which was very exciting and it worked out really well. I got really good response and we sold a lot. I think people kind of like need it. It's not about making fashion faster, not at all. It's about bringing the customer in. You still have the catwalk or the showrooms which are exclusive, but the product shouldn't be exclusive, I think. I think that should be available faster to the customer. And um, how long has the collection taken to develop? So from start to finish, from the designs to the actual product physically? It's not the same for every piece. Some pieces it takes longer with them. Uh, some pieces you have to redo several times. But sometimes there are these magical pieces. You do it from research to like the final product. It turns out to be exactly like you imagined in your head. But usually it's a few months, you know. Obviously we're still in a system where you ha have a deadline and you can't go over it. Could you show us a particular piece and uh, explain how it was made and everything? So I, f I will pick this one. That's one of my personal favorites. So this is a crochet technique that I learned from my grandmother. I'm originally from, from Russia. And um, so this, we mix different type of threads to give everything more volume and a better visual appeal. And every flower is done separately. That's how we start. So usually it takes a while till we develop the flower, the shape, um, the yarns we want to use for it. Once that is done, we start to work on the shape of the garment. And then we put the uh, flowers together with a silk yarn. That's how it looks on the other side. So this garment is entirely handmade. And the finishings here you see um, the waistband is made out of 100% cotton, which holds the shape then and, and gives it a, a good uh, overall feel and the buttons they're kind of uh, closing up the story with the ready to wear because they are made of the same fabric as these garments which is silk organza so it's covered silk organza buttons for the perfect finish um, and you say um, you learned this technique um, from your grandmother How, um, do you think um, you knew you want to be a designer from an early age or oh, yeah definitely I don't think a designer I wanted to be in the creative industry I didn't really know what a designer is or what the responsibility is. I started with crafting things and, and really like hands-on things and try out things. And then later I realized, oh, there's such thing as a designer who can start from research and develop shapes. 
so I think that's how, how it turned out in the end. And have you had a chance to look at anyone else's collection, any other designers that you particularly liked this year? Well, to be honest, during Fashion Week, um, I usually don't have time. I like to have a walk around here in the showrooms and, and see everything. But once Fashion Week is over, definitely I'll be in front of the computer looking at everyone. I think it's important to be informed and there's so many amazing things out there. I'm excited to see the other collections. <laughs>